Hi folks, Dave here. Wouldn't it be great if you could easily cook for a family with nothing but a 100 watt solar panel? No inverter, no battery, and no charge controller needed. Previously, I used a single 20 watt solar panel to boil a single egg. Now that's efficient. But many people would prefer to buy a solar electric cooker off the shelf instead of making their own. Wouldn't it be great if there was such a cooking appliance for sale on the store shelf? And would it be amazing if a company was already manufacturing such an appliance but didn't know that they were? This is called a thermal cooker. The idea is you take the inner pot and get it boiling on the stove, then put it inside the insulated container. Shut the lid and the existing heat keeps cooking for quite a while. This is a really neat idea. But this thermal cooker has a special feature. It has a heating element. And yes, it can cook. I've been testing it for several days now. The instruction manual says that the built-in heating element is not for cooking, and I understand that. It's just for keeping the food warm. But I decided to test the idea and try cooking anyway. This is some of the easiest DIY solar electric cooking a person can do. You literally just plug in the solar panel and let it heat up and cook. Effectively, this appliance has become a very efficient DC Instapot or slow cooker. I did test a 50 watt solar panel with this cooker and it got pretty hot. It turns out I needed a 100 watt solar panel to get decent results. On the other hand, the 100 watt solar panel does have the potential to burn out the appliance, so I have to be careful. A simple inline DC watt meter can be used to keep an eye on the power input. A DC converter or other device could potentially be used to regulate power input. About 50 watts of heat is what I'd suggest to start. Exceeding that might put the heating element at risk. You need a good quality 2.1mm to solar panel adapter, not the kind with skinny cheap wires as they might melt. That's pretty much all there is to it. This appliance really surprised me. It's got lots of stainless steel and isn't terribly expensive. I don't know how long it will last when used this way, but I thought I'd share the idea and some clips of the food I cooked in it. There wasn't much sun in the morning when I plugged this thing in, but now the sun has come around and hit the panel. So let's see how it's doing now. Okay, here's the status so far. We have about 10 volts, about 24 watts. Of course, that's not gonna cook all that food, or at least not in any reasonable time. However, we'll start thawing the food. 77 degrees on the inside. The chicken is frozen, some of the vegetables are frozen. What I'm waiting for is probably like 14 volts and maybe 50 to 55 watts. That's about as high as I really wanna go. And it's not hard to get 55 watts or 50 watts from a 100 watt solar panel, it's no problem at all. Even 48 watts, 45 watts would probably be just fine. Let's take a look at the inside. It's getting a bit steamed up in there. It's gonna take a while. This is not a fast process if you start in the morning. It is a kind of hybrid slow cooker. It could be faster if I had the full power available. However, if you start in the morning and you plug the solar panel in, you can go ahead and start cooking just like a slow cooker and towards the middle of the day it should be ready to eat. Right now I'm just going to let the food thaw out and warm up. This off-the-shelf cooker is not as efficient as my other home-built ones, but it's much larger and holds a lot of food. The ideal power input has to be at least 50 watts. This results in cooking temperatures pretty easily. Here you can see that the food is vigorously boiling. I'm not really a cook, but I had someone in my family who is take a look and they said absolutely that food is cooked. Direct solar electric power is truly useful. It's powering this fan directly and I built a power wall where I can plug in any appliance that I have. If you're interested in that sort of technology, there's a link to the video down in the description. Even the LED lights over the workbench are powered by direct solar electric power. I conducted the cooking test out of my solar workshop. Now we're going to take it into the house and take the food out and make sure that it was actually cooked. Well, as I said earlier, I'm not really a cook, but it was very clear upon looking at the food. It absolutely cooked all the way through, and it was very well cooked at that. It's amazing how simple this system is. The concept of cooking food directly off of a solar panel completely removes the need for batteries, inverters, charge controllers, and so forth. It makes it very simple, robust, and portable. And it makes it more affordable and accessible to people who maybe they can't afford a battery bank, but they could afford a single cooking appliance and a single solar panel. This solar electric cooker is insulated, so that means it's a lot more efficient than it otherwise would be. Also, a cooker like this is technically a solar cooker, but it has a pair of wires, which means you can bring the cooker indoors, out of the wind, out of the sun, out of the bugs, and have a more civilized and controlled cooking experience. Solar thermal cookers mostly require you to be out in the sun, out in the elements with your food, and that can be less than optimal. I hope this video helps you out. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time.